morning from base camp, fishing freaks. Let's get that first sip of coffee to start the day. Today's a big day, y'all. Sun is just starting to come up right now, and we're going to be moving back south today to go down to a, a section of private land that is along this river that we're camping next to. I've always carried a fly rod when I've come up here, if I'm elk hunting or just camping by the lake to just kind of dabble in it. I've never like really studied fly fishing that much. Uh, it's just, you know, from what I'd known as a kid, and you whip it out there catching bluegills, and I, I'm lucky enough to get a few trout every once in a while on it. But I've really been studying a lot over this summer, and I've got two fly rigs set up. I've got a Euro nymphing rig, which we'll get into, and also just a, a regular standard floating uh, fly rig. So this is going to be the most intense fly fishing day that I've ever put myself into. I've actually already got my feet wet and gotten a few trout on the line, so I've got some confidence. But today we're actually gonna, we're gonna pay someone to fish on their private land. So in this area, there's just sections of private land that work through the BLM land and all that. So there's fly fishermen everywhere. So the opportunity to get on a section that has a little less pressure and we here has some bigger fish I'm really excited about. I wanna catch, I wanna really get into a fish where I'm like, it feels like a log. I, I've never gotten into a big fish on a fly. We're talking light line. This is gonna be exciting stuff. So let's pack up the trucks. Let's head to the river. Let's start our banger fly fishing day. Folks, we just got dropped off here at the spot. It's a section of river. It's a couple of hundred yards long. Kids, don't be throwing rocks in the river. We don't want to scare these trout. The crazy part was when we were coming in, the guy that took us down here, he said, uh, how big is your net? And I was like, I don't, I don't know, about this big. What's that? You already see one? Don't spook him. Oh my gosh, that's a giant. Oh my gosh, it's a giant rainbow. Look, he's right there. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try not to spook that one. Nobody throwing. Dude, 30 inch rainbow right here. I'm dead serious. Right in front of the kids. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah. I see it. 25 I see it. at least. Oh, that's yeah. you see it? Dude, that's every bit of It's a giant. That's 20 oh, that's 26 or right I there. 27. It. I see Dude, it. It's like this. <laughs> it's huge. Look at so the guy asked how big our net was. Not big enough to fit that one in there. I could tell you that right now. My buddy Lance has a little bit bigger net than I do. If we get one of those on, it is going to be the fight of a lifetime shaking my fishing freak nerves are going crazy right now guys he did mention they're uh they eat a lot of dries out here a lot of dry flies which is exciting there's three of them sitting there oh my gosh there's giants sitting right here absolute giants oh my gosh oh my <laughs> The, yeah, we are not prepared for this size suit up. fish, man. <laughs> if that doesn't get you pumped, I don't know. That's like walking up on a beautiful stump field and just seeing nine pounders just sitting on the base of the stumps. Like it gives you, uh, like you know they're in here. You know you go 100%. fish water and like, ah, oh, I don't know if there's fish in here. Like it's on us to catch them. They're, like they do see a lot of pressure. Maybe they know the pressure of the storms coming in. The, the weather. <sighs> That's true. That's true. We got a big storm coming in tomorrow. I'm not even sure if we'd be able to fish here or even get down here with all the mud. All those are PBs for me. Dude, those things, 
Those things won't fit in this thing. I know, I know. <laughs> Dude. That's why he said 26 inches nets. right here. Oh my gosh. 26 inches. Right. Look at You're this. You're right. It ain't gonna fit in there. Well, let's Should we'll, we go get the bigger net? I mean, we'll worry about it. We gotta first get them on the line. All right, guys, let's open it up and see what we're working with. What kind of fly do I want to throw? Hmm. Do I want to go big or do I want to go kind of smaller right here? Let's go with a mid size. All right, we're going to start off naked, just going with this. And I may go down in size for not getting any bites. And I may need to add some weight to that. Once we get out here, we'll see what the flow is, is really doing, see how it feels. But let's get started. All right, buddy, what are you thinking? I, I started on with like a size you were going with yesterday. Just gonna try to sneak in here, see if we see any trout. It's actually hitting bottom right there, so that's good. Just have one. Come on, one. Justin! Oh no! Oh no! <sighs> Did you see the fish? No, I mean, did you see him before you caught him? Oh, I like this flow rate. This fro flow looks good right here. And my heart is like pounding. What did you get that bite on? Uh, that little, uh, purple one. The uh, purple, that purple one. I went with just a little copper, John. Let me get in here. Oh, there's a big one, big one. You just spooked. Where'd it go? Hang on, dude. We need to fish this before we. Across? Yeah, they're they're in the little deep buckets. Holy, I see a big one. All right, come on, baby. Present the fly. This is looking good. It's a good little break right here between these two riffles, I suppose. These are giants. Oh, there we go. I'm on. Come on! 
We're on. Big in. Come on, baby. Woo, there we go. Oh, he running. I don't know if this is the same fish I saw, but this is a big one. Dude, I might need your net. Really? Yeah, they could have to walk down. Oh, man, he's in the current. Yeah. It's right here. The, he's coming towards me. Let your drag, let your drag go. That's how I lost mine. All right, we're in good position here. Oh yeah, good trout. Oh, oh yeah, baby, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Let's go, dude! Giants! Holy cow! I was sitting there staring at one for like ten minutes, and then I didn't see this one, but he—he's the one that got it. The other one, I think, was bigger. Dude, that's a slob. That's twenty inches. Yeah, it might be a little bit more. Yeah, 20, yeah. All right, let me... Yeah, I want to get a good photo with this guy in the river. I'm shaking, dude. So, well, dude, you should see me. I'm telling you, I hooked in one of those 26ers. It took off, and I lost like that. Just jumped and gone? Just took off, gone. This is my fish. Here. <sighs> Keep him in the water. Holy smokes, guys. Look at this rainbow. That is a giant. Give me your GoPro. Still rolling right now. Get a little bit of video and then we get a pick. That's what it's all about right here, guys. Lance, I think we made a good decision. Dude. I'm scared to take him out. If he's not ready, he's not ready. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Look at this thing, guys. That is a magnet. It's 20 inches. Let's put him right here. Yeah. Yep. Uh, a 20, right at 20. 20, 20 plus, yeah. If you laid him flat, I think it's 20 plus. Maybe. All right, let's get a sick photo of this guy. And then we'll let him let him go. When well, you also got to like, wear him right. out too here. Well, guys, my, <laughs> I let go of the fish before uh, I was trying to get a photo. I barely got a photo and he, uh, he took off on me. So. Dude, 20 incher, bro. Dude, a 20 incher Dude. to start it out. That is awesome. And uh, Lance has already had three, you said? I've had I've had one smaller and, and one about that size, and then I caught, I got one of those uh, 26 plusters, and it literally took off, and I instantly came out of his mouth. It was massive. What on? What are you throwing? Uh, is that like uh, Lance Egan thing? I just switched flies. I broke off and I switched. What'd you break off on a rock? That little thing. Yeah. Okay, got a little pink in it. Yeah. All right, I'm throwing uh, a little bit smaller. Yeah. I think that's another, it's a Prince Nymph though, yeah. similar. And I just put a, a little bit of weight above it. And I was looking at another fish dude that was bigger. And I can't, he wouldn't move, wouldn't move. Dude, and then- the, There's no bite. It just, it just goes in their mouth. Yeah, it just stopped. Yes. It just stopped. And All I three was like, of them huh. and then just, there's no bite. It just stops. Yeah. I'm going- uh, I'm, gonna walk, I'm gonna walk down here with you. Guys, that's what we came here for. 20 inch plus rainbow trout, my PB and euro nymph fly that is incredible so i think we're gonna euro nymph this morning while it's kind of cold and as it gets warmer and the bugs start coming out then we'll uh so we'll switch up maybe to a dry fly a hopper that'd be just incredible to see one of those come up and eat on top so this is awesome we're going uh we're going barbless here today guys so you got to keep the pressure on them but just having that really light rod is is key these rocks that break up the water this is the key some of these big ones they'll sit right behind it
Oh my gosh, I have a giant right in front of me, dude. Oh my gosh, bro. You gotta be careful, so what mine did, he ran down river right here. Dude, I have a giant. So, uh, catching them and netting right away is no joke. Yeah. Guys, I have a giant less than 10 feet from me. This is another, this is like a 30 incher. I'm sure he sees me, so. Oh my gosh. I'll try to step back a little bit. Dude, I'm staring at I'm staring at a 25er. This is the nice thing about urine nymphing because you can just keep putting it in the same spot, just short little casts. And I'm just using my, my indicator the cider that I have to see how what my depth is. And I'm raising my rod and lowering it depending on where it's going. I'm just focusing on this fish because it's huge. Yeah, he doesn't want to eat. He sees me. I'll leave him alone. I threw like 40 casts at that one. It just wouldn't move. You were saying you're gonna let him let him run, or you're gonna try to net him quick. I'm just gonna try to get him in and go down river. This nymphing is just all sight fishing. You're looking at your line. You're trying to see the little breaks in the water. Might have just had one right there. It's hard to tell sometimes. It just stops. When you're looking at your line, you see the line moving really fast. That's not where the fish are gonna hold. It's when your line starts to slow down, it's caught behind those little eddies, that's where the fish are. I'm just trying to manipulate my, my line to get into those spots. It's a difficult spot to fish right here, but I know there's a big one. Got him, got him, got him. We're hooked up, baby. I just saw my line stop. Oh, he's staying in the stream. It's a big end, baby. Let's go. We're going to have to get him out. Get him out of this heavy current. Oh, now he's going downstream. Oh, he come off. There it go, giant. Ah, I couldn't tell, man. They all look big. What a fight. Oh my gosh. That, it is very difficult to land these fish. Marvelous hook and this current. You don't want to put too much pressure on them, but can't let them just run all down the river either. Woo! That was worth the price of admission right there. I'd pay a hundred bucks for that all day. Ah, dang it. Dang it, the line broke again. Shoot, let's put a whole new leader on. All right, guys, we're taking a little break. 10.40, been fishing two hours. I've had three bites and I have landed my personal best rainbow trout. 
The other one I hooked could have been bigger. This set, this setup right here is so light. Uh, the tip, the leader is so light too, and it's getting tumbled in the rocks. When I go to unsnag my lure, it's breaking off, which makes me think if I hook into a really big one, like a 30 incher, which we're told are in here, and I think Lance had one that was pretty close to that, um, it could just break my line. So it's the big debate. Do you go down in line size to get the bites because these fish are so pressured, or do you go up and you know not break off get less bites but not break off that's where i'm at right now on the on the euro nymph situation let me know in the comments down below if you're a fly guy what is your go-to fly because you know i get questions all the time about in bass like what's your go-to lure go-to lure and it sometimes it, i just want to say like well it really depends on the situation it really what lake are you at what time of year there's a lot of different variables i'm sure that's the same with fly but if there's one like a black and blue jig for me that's just something that i love to throw and i tie it on in a lot of different lakes you know a chatterbait with a with a you know swim bait trailer on the back something like that i can go most lakes catch fish on a jerk bait that's something i throw year round so if there's anything like that in the fly world where it's a, a year round kind of deal or just a go to let me know in the comments down below i'm going with a 5x pure fluorocarbon leader there's no indicator right here so we're directly tied to the fish sometimes they'll feel that resistance of the indicator or physically see it on top of the water and then they won't bite and you know even though this is a private stretch it gets fished a lot like it was fished yesterday i don't think these fish are dumb by any means check this out guys larva returning to the waters all right got to get this got to get the drift down changes every spot you go you've also got to account for you know the the line trailing behind oh i got him oh god i lost i saw him eat it i saw him eat it i never even saw the fish that was that was pretty awesome i don't know what i could have done different there it's another one right here giant they're all giants got him little guy Little buddy. Still an awesome fight in the current though, wow. That is no joke. I think this is a brown. It is, it's a brown. Well, that's awesome. Wasn't expecting to catch a brown here. Look at that. Look at that fight. There we go. Right there, guys, is a beautiful brown trout. We'll get him unhooked. The kids really want to see him, so. No Isn't that cool? Yeah. That's a pretty fish, huh? I got a little See? Got a fish. Got a fish. Look at that pretty fish, Emmy. <laughs> this is on your scavenger hunt. Ooh, look at all that stuff. Ben wants to see. Ben wants to see. Ooh, Mr. Fish Ben. See those, see those pretty orange spots? Oh, careful, Ben. Sometimes they're pink, sometimes they're orange. Ooh. What do you think about that, buddy? Wow. Is that pretty cool? It's pretty neat, huh? Uh -huh. All right, guys, we're gonna let this fish go. Let's see which way he goes underwater. Just hanging right by. 
by the rock. Oh man, this is, this is hard. Well guys, we just broke off the whole, almost the whole kit and caboodle here. I don't even have a tippet ring now. So we gotta retie a tippet ring. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a nightmare. If you don't know what a tippet ring is, it's the tiniest thing on earth. Oh, I lost it. Holy I just lost two of them. These some bitches will break your ankle right here. These some ankle breakers. Oh, there's one right there. I see him. He's a good one. Oh, he flashed on it. He wants it. He's coming back for it. Dang. Had the right drift on that one. Fish on. Finally got one, guys. I'm going to show you what I got bit on. I can drag this puppy over here. I think he's drag worthy. Yep. Uh, ooh, that's a skinny one. He was hungry. So I got this guy on a stone fly larva. This is the biggest fly I've thrown up here so far. Uh, literally second cast. I broke off three or four flies and uh, there's a bigger one in there but this one I've watched him swim over he really wanted it so that's a good sign all right buddy I'll let you go back into the streams beautiful dry if you know big, big strike over here just missed him on dry fly yes all right, Lance just got bit on a dry fly. That is really good news. I'm, I'm honestly getting a little tired of uh, getting caught up in the rocks. It's getting pretty annoying. Lost a lot of flies. Oh, I got another one. Oh, he's little. God, they want that thing though. Just not the not the 30 inches we see <sighs> hot action though there she blows see little bud tailgate updates y'all think i've caught uh four or five trout now one giant pb started off the day right I'm, I'm trying to get back on one of those big ones but i've lost eight flies getting stuck doing euro nymphing I just got tangled up and I said, screw it. I'm going to come back to the truck. I'm just going to grab my dry fly. I saw two fish in my last little spot that came up. They surfaced. That's the first time I've seen that. I'm seeing flies starting to fly around everywhere. Grass stoppers, grasshoppers starting to come out. And I've got tons of dry flies. My dad has collected fishing stuff, old fishing stuff for years. And he's got just thousands of dry flies. So I've got some in my pack and I... You know what? I, I'm just not experienced throwing these things, but I'm going to give them a whirl. And I think it'd be pretty cool to use some of, the, some of my dad's really old flies that he's got out here. So, uh, you know what? These pretty much represent those, those little dilly whoppers that I was finding on shore. I'm going to tie one of those big bobs on and just see what happens. This technique actually requires a little different setup. So I need a floating line instead of fishing the fluorocarbon and right now i've got a uh a large tapered leader on here i'm ha gonna have to uh, tie on some smaller tippet 
some mono tippet. So we'll get that on here and then, uh, then we'll tie a straight dry fly and our, our line is a lot heavier, the fly line itself. And that's gonna enable me to, to actually cast out there. We're gonna do one thing before we start casting. We're gonna grease it up. A little bit of this. A little bit of gunk. There we go. A little bit of gunk. Oh yeah, now we're going purest. Dry fly on top of the water. She's just floating on down. I might actually walk down and try to find some calmer water. Oh! Oh, I just had one! I just had one. Came and licked it. This is a certified 30 mother trucking incher. Holy... Dickens. There ain't no way I'm tricking him. Oh my god, there's another one. Holy shiitake mushrooms. These are magnums. Magnums. I'm going to see if I can video this trout. It's so big. This is the biggest trout I've ever seen in my life. He already sees me. He's moving. That was giant. That was the biggest one I've seen. 30 inches for sure. Oh no. Oh no, you guys missed it. I hooked up on the dry fly. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going with him down river. Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in right now. No, he's going up. Oh, it's not a giant, but it was the coolest bite in my life. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. This is the craziest thing ever. Come here, buddy. I'm just kind of hanging with him. It's not, it's not a giant, dude, but... It's not a giant! Dude, it's, it's not a giant! Dude, it took me for a rip. Good fish. Yeah! <laughs> Dry fly. Dude, it came up, it slurped it, and took off. Oh, I saw him take it. Yeah, that's I saw him take it. I, I actually was not rolling. I thought I was. It came up and just, you know, it's like the, it geez, took off like the one you were saying. Cast, three hits. And the dry that come up, boom. Oh. Well, I had one right where. Right over there, I saw you get Yeah, it, it just, it, dude, there was a 30 incher. Oh, 30, and he wouldn't move. I know. I mean, it just, nothing. Dude, that's crazy, bro. It's time to get a new net. It's time to get a new net, man. <laughs> we're going to be catching hog jammers like that. I mean, that's a good 16. Yeah, so she's uh, solid too, man. 16 incher, just a brute. 16 inch rainbow trout. Two of the biggest trout of my life. Let me go. That last rainbow, I just set it over the top. That was the second biggest rainbow I've ever caught in my life. Arguably a better fight than that 20 incher. I mean, it just took off multiple runs. Luckily, my buddy Lance was there. He kind of got in the back current, netted it for me. Just an awesome, awesome fish. Now, the kids are getting tired of being out here. Moms are getting tired of watching the kids. So we're actually gonna head back to camp right now. But I would say it was definitely worth it to pay. It was $100 to come fish this 
200, 300 yard stretch, something like that. I, don't, I didn't even explore the whole thing. I was just trying to pick apart every little boulder. And we had the opportunities at really big ones. My buddy Lance ha had one that was probably one of those 30 inchers. I wish I could get close enough to film the ones underwater, but there are, we saw with our eyes, 30 inch rainbow trout in here. So big. So we really got our, our systems dialed in today. It was a little frustrating to get us snagged up and everything like that, but I think we got a much better idea of the flies we need to be throwing, the length of the leaders, uh, you know, the exact weights and everything. We're getting all that stuff dialed in to uh, go to some other places by our river camp and then our lake pan, uh, camp to go keep catching fish. I don't think we're going to catch any rainbows bigger than that, but my gosh, I had an awesome time today. I learned a lot about fly fishing, and uh, it was a new experience, Euro nymphing, and I also got one on a dry fly. It was amazing. So thank you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned for more camping, fishing adventures out here in the great wilderness of Colorado. I'll see you on the next one.